So I was shopping at the local Dollarama, a dollar store, and uh, in their tech section, they have these little battery packs. They're a, like a phone charger, tablet charger, battery pack. It says here, power bank. And I thought, why the hell not? For three bucks. Three bucks in uh, Canadian pesos. We'll see what makes this thing tick. There is DOS power bar. See, it's got a little keychain lanyard thing on it. That's kind of nice. Uh, it's got a Wii cable. Also good. It would cost, it'd cost you a dollar to get one of these from eBay if you needed one. So there you go. For three bucks, you've already got a dollar back. Do not use with wall chargers that exceed one amp of output. Alright, we'll keep that in mind. So you can see that it is literally just a battery pack. So I'll plug that in right out of the box. I haven't charged this or anything. Yep, boop boop, and you can see, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it says charging there, so I believe it, charging 81%. Beautiful. Now, oh, it's got a little indicator light there. I would like to see what is inside of this thing. Hmm. Warning, do not use with wall chargers exceeding one amp. I don't see any real logical way to get into this. Oh, that might pop apart. We might be in luck. Holy hell, that came apart easy. <laughs> it's got two, yeah, you can see in there, this is a sort of like a light pipe for the little indicator light. It just shines through the white plastic. Looks like two colored LEDs in there. It's probably a red for charge and a blue for use. That would make sense. The rest of this going to come out. Come out. Any labeling? Oh, that's just the President's Choice blue label battery, I guess. There's no, uh, no markings on that per se. <clears throat> Usual little kind of tin strip, very thin. To get to the negative end of the cell. Uh, solder looks good. I actually think the cabling here is fairly stout considering what we're working with. And can we get the rest of that out without totally reefing it? Yes we can. That came apart way too easy. Holy cow. So there you go. There's your charge port for charging the, the battery here and your charge port for outputting. Now, I'm not going to pretend that I know what all this stuff means because I don't. But uh, seems to be pretty well put together actually. Like all the solder joints look pretty legit. A little scrubby here and there but yeah that Jeez, looks legit to me. It's labeled on the board, minus, plus side, minus side. Yeah, hmm, some kind of a wee coil there in the middle. Some probably charge control chips and monitoring type stuff. I guess my takeaway here is that there's enough, um, there's enough crap on the circuit here to fool me into thinking that it's protected. It's got charge protection and stuff. Hopefully it's not just all to run the LEDs and make it look pretty. But yeah, the ports are on the board good. And I would say the only real weakness I see that's obvious there is the no-namer battery. I like to have a couple of these kind of backup cell phone batteries around the house. Somebody's always run out of juice or trying to play a game in the car or something like that and they need the extra jam. Now well, I'll never get it back together. <laughs> never get it back together to fit those stupid parts into the plastic holes here but in any case there we go, there we go, there we go. Easy. 
not to stress those wires too much. Let's get that wire over here. Yeah, just bent that thing pretty bad. Gentle, gentle. And broke. So just when I thought we were doing okay for a three dollars uh, quality control check, this um, wire broke off right at the solder, and I don't. It doesn't seem like it's a really clean end on the wire. Like I'm gonna guess that it actually. Um, wasn't soldered very far into this blob and it just kind of broke free instead of being soldered down into the blob a little bit that's going to be my guess i'm just going to retin that a little make sure it'll stick i'm the last person on earth you should ever take soldering lessons from just be forewarned i'm just kind of a get her done solder so There. Trying to be gentle with that little tin strip. Okay, that's good. That'll do. And we'll see if we can get this back together again without cracking any more parts off. So that kind of just gonna go easy, girl. Easy, girl. I think it's fine as long as you just jam it all back in here in a way that fits like that. Oh, see, I got that wire in the way. There. There we go. That's legit. You know what? If I hadn't taken it apart, that would probably never have broken. So I'm going to say that. For three bucks, uh, you can get some amount of amperage. I don't think it says anywhere what the amperage is. Oh, it does! It's a lithium polymer, 1800 milliamp. So there you go. That's a three bucks for a LiPo 1800 cell, which isn't that bad. Unless you need a lot of them. But uh, that's pretty keen. I like that. For three bucks, keep that in mind next time you're at the... Canadian dollar store. I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.